Okay, welcome to the engineering uh, coffee break. Uh, my name is Frank Joop, and what I'd like to share this morning with you is to um, talk about data sharing between disciplines. It's more uh, food for thought than anything else, but uh, I want to bring that up to you. So it's just like an ID, and maybe you can consider that and see if that will help you in your workflow. Now we know that we have these applications uh, for the different uh, for the different disciplines, you know, like the PNAD, the instrumentation, 3D modeling, all that stuff. Now for years, you know, we have been talking about uh, about integration. We need to integrate the discipline. We meet, need to make this data flow seamlessly between PNAD and instrumentation and 3D and so on and so on. And of course, you know, over the years. We have been uh, seeing a lot of uh, progress there. You know, there are a lot of uh, tools on the market that uh, that support that integration. But I was thinking, you know, integration is only a, a, a you know a part of the, the the solution. I think, and that is why I call this uh, data sharing rather than integration, because the integration when you have P and D and 3D through some kind of a middleware or some kind of a software, you know, you'll be able to exchange data between them. But the, the, the point, of course, is when you're in engineering, how good is that data that you're getting? Uh, I know that you know when I was in engineering, we did not have that sophisticated uh, tools as we have today. But uh, uh, when I was getting information from another discipline, you know, I had to basically uh, ask them, uh, you know, is this good enough to use, or or uh, is this final, or are you still making up your mind, or uh, for me to to use it or not to use it in in the downstream uh, downstream tasks, you know. So that's important. So. I was thinking that if you look, for instance, at the, at, the, at the control valve, you know, you have different stages. I mean, uh, this is just an example. You have maybe other stages, but first you have your concept on your PNID. Okay, you have to have some control valve to, to let's say, for flow control. Then you, you decide on the, on the size and the final type of the valve. Then you, you, know, you decide which vendor you're going to use. And then finally, you know, you're going to buy the thing to install it. And these are basically sizes. So I was thinking, if we are able to give these different phases like an indicator, I just call them A, B, C, D, you know. And then when we can share the data with the downstream discipline, like for instance, you know, I'm on the instrumentation side and I get the information from P and ID, and I see that this valve is only in the A, has an A uh, status. I said, well, no, I'm not going to touch that because the process guy is still working on that and I'm not going to waste my time working on this valve while he's still maybe, you know, changing it. But if he's saying, okay, B, well, no, then I have a better chance because he at least has decided on the, on the type of valve and, and, and the size. Of course, when he has decided on the vendor, I'm okay, you know. Then you know, you 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 basically can pro progress and, and finalize the, the the wiring, finalize the spec sheet, and so on. You, you you see where I'm coming from? That you know, the integration of moving data to model the 3D. I know this may be not the prettiest picture, but I try to uh, create this uh, valve in a 3D environment to model that. It is be helpful if the receiving party gets some kind of indication of the status of the data. You know, if this complete or preliminary, to not because you know the one thing I always say that's that's certain in engineering that's changed. So we know things are changing. So I think to 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 streamline the workflow and and not waste time and hours, maybe when we give a status to these items, then we can uh, can can you know either act on them or say okay we'll hold off for a second. Now, since all these applications these days are data centric anyway, it's easy when you have an indicator to sort. Show me all the things that have a status C. Okay, fine. The vendor is already done, uh, determined, so I'm going to use that. Or show all the A's. So I say, well, this is still stuff that needs to be worked on, but I'm not going to work on it yet. That is then your decision. Now, so then the compare is, is important too. Then you have the disciplines like the, the, the process guys, the, the PNID, the instruments guys, the electrical guys, if, for instance, if it's a motor operated valve, and of course the 3D. Now, when you can compare the data in these disciplines, you see that the, the valve is known by the PNID, the valve is known by the instrumentation, he has worked on it, but the electrical and the 3D has not touched it yet. So that also gives you a status of you know who actually used the data and who is still you know uh, waiting on maybe more final information to create it. So I think the, the the integration is is important of course to move data between disciplines and so on. But I think it will be a good idea maybe to provide some kind of a status of what the quality or the status of the data is 
to the receiving party so he has more information to act upon it. And I think with that, basically, you can streamline the workflow and uh, maybe uh, you know, reduce some, uh, some of the hours uh, as well and, and, and maybe uh, avoid some iteration and uh, rework and, and issuing of drawings and so on, you know, how that, how that goes. Okay, some, some ID to consider, and uh, uh, thanks for, uh, for sharing uh, your coffee break with me, and I hope it's a little bit helpful, and uh, thank you very much.